Good afternoon. I'm standing here on Tyler's Green, right on the Haywards Heath Linfield borders. And we're here to see Pinehurst, which is the house hidden through the trees there. Um, just so you know where we are, if I look to my east, Haywards Heath Town Centre is literally a half mile in that direction. Uh, you can walk to the railway station in just under a mile. And if I look to my west, Tyler's Green follows round to Cookfield. And if I look across the roundabout opposite, that's the road back to Bolnor Village and uh, Burgess Hill there, the A273, I believe. So uh, typically it's school rush hour, so bad timing for my part, but it gives you the honesty of the location. Um, this house, lovely big house, that sits in about an acre and a half in total. Well, I'm gonna cut across the front garden just to give you the real impression, because this house sits in about, well, I think just over an acre of land. Uh, it's a fabulous plot and the house is nicely set back. Even though we're on uh, the road at the front there, you wouldn't even know this house exists. But it's a fabulous big house. It's got lots of flexibility, really versatile accommodation. If you're an extended family, I mean, you've got five, five potentially six bedrooms, God knows how many bathrooms, uh, but it has got that potential to have an annex or a separate office suite or someone wanted a home therapy uh, area you could. Uh, the owners bought this from us only a few years ago. They've done various bits and pieces to it. But one thing they did do, the garage, which is over to your left, that has been converted into another great big TV room. But that in itself could be a separate little annex. So come and have a look inside. I'll show you around the house first, and I'll take you onto the garden. Because the other lovely thing, you can't see it from where I'm standing, but the other side of that hedge is a lovely field, which is far part of the strategic gap between Haywards Heath and Cookfield. And behind us, we're backing onto Pages Meadow Nature Reserve. So you're sort of rural here almost, yet you can walk to everything. So I'm gonna take my shoes off here. So first things first, nice entrance hall, plenty of storage. Some handy front cupboard there. That was could have always been a, a great big cloakroom. And then, in fact, which way should I take you? This house is so vast, but I think I'll take you this way first. So, originally, I've sold this house a few times over the years, but this was a dining room, which had, uh, obviously, it was a normal formal dining room, and then a separate kitchen at the back. But the previous owners to our current owner opened all this up and made it a really fab space. They've also replaced a lot of these lovely big windows. But what a great big room. So, very much a kitchen, living area, TV area this end, Plenty of room for a dining table. Doors out to the garden. I'll give you a glimpse of that. Huge garden. One thing the owners, the current owners have done is also added a swimming pool, which is rather lovely. And then fab big kitchen. All very nice wooden units, all painted wood units with granite tops. And you've got a proper arga. So I just move my hands out. I've got a lovely big blue arga. If you've never cooked on an arga before, once you've done it, you will never go back to using a conventional oven. And then there's this other porch, because the house has got various options as far as how do you want to use it. This could have been another front door, or like I mentioned earlier, this could have been the annex. So this is the old garage through here, very much turned into the kids, or the TV room and everything else, but a great space, could be a bedroom area. This is the utility room which could either be another ensuite or a kitchen for this end of the house. And if you wanted to go above, I mean, from the original house, which would have been built probably in the 1920s or thirties, it's had various extensions, but it has got a lot of potential to extend again, if you wanted. Um, the inner lobby, I'll take you this way, various things, boiler cover there, that's just being serviced. Typically the engineers turn up as, as I have. The downstairs loo, beautiful suite and plenty of cupboards in here, so lots of storage. And then understairs cupboard, and then round to the left, this is where the house gets flexible. So this could even be bedroom six, or as you can see, very much the home office and has been the gym. There's a back door out to the porch that way. Not a bad outlook from the desk. Straight down the garden to the swimming pool. Then across the way is the sitting room, which came back off that entrance hall. Enormous room here. And you've got a fireplace in there with another wood stove. And there's another front door. So where I just parked my car around there, this could be a separate suite. So again, anyone working from home, wanted an annex, whatever you want to use it for, you've got that flexibility. This bit's got its own front door. Or if you wanted it just for a couple of big, you know, big teenagers suites, absolutely ideal. So big cupboard in there, one bedroom here. 
great big bedroom. I mean, everything about this house is spacious. And then this bathroom, really nice ensuite with a proper big waterfall style shower. And again, window of its own there. Another bedroom here. Again, good double. All the timbers were limed and painted just to make it all a lot more trendy up some years ago. And again, ensuite there. With a bath, and again, lovely basin. All these towel rails, everything's done. I don't know if it's underfloor heating, but my feet are I'm on a nice warm floor here. A great space, so remember that. We've got two bedroom suites out on this ground floor. And then, of course, the flexibility of the living room, the back room, the garage and TV room, so very sprawling. If you're a person that wants a really big ground floor or lots of versatility, this could be for you, because the, the footprint is enormous. You'll see from the floor plan, the ground floor is huge. Then upstairs, obviously a little bit more limited up here, but you've got, again, several bedroom suite options. So this very much could be the main bedroom. And again, big double aspect room. That is an enormous bed, but this is a big bedroom, so we can get away with it. We're overlooking the gardens to the rear. Now you've got, a, you can't see it from here, but that is a pretty spectacular view right up towards the hills at Handcross and Balcombe. This hedge going down the right-hand side, I believe is your hedge, but they've always kept it high and screened just to keep the seclusion of the plot. That's looking back down the front garden, sorry, into the sun. But you have got that, uh, Years ago, the field to the side, uh, developers have tried to get planning to build houses. Then they came down to four houses, and I believe they've even tried to build just one house, but they've been, been declined that. I don't know what the latest planning commission is, but I believe the reason being is it's this actual house we're standing in now is officially the last house in Haywards Heath, whereas the house next door is the first house in, Lin uh, in Cookfield. Whilst I'm here, this bedroom, this bathroom is pretty spectacular, so very much a dressing area that end. Great big basin and this huge wet room style shower there. Well, I could tell you a lot more about the planning thing. Whereas the other thing is you're partly why they didn't get any planning permission next door is you're backing onto Pages Meadow Nature Reserve, which again forms part of the strategic gap between Cookfield and Haywards Heath. And then this bedroom in the middle, this if you like, is the smallest bedroom. Still a nice size. However, there are doors there. So if you wanted that as a dressing room to this room and make this your main bedroom, you could. So another fab big bedroom, much the same size as the last one. Again, overlooking the front. There the door through to that little room. Plenty of storage. Again, lovely window looking over the garden. And again, taking full advantage of that view. Um, I say about the hedges, because if you wanted to keep those hedges down and the hedges at the back down, you've got a really lovely outlook over farmland there. And then here is another bathroom. So I've, I don't know about you, but I've lost count on the bathrooms. I think we're up to four or five. But again, nice suite here. Again, all done. This was all done up about four or five years ago. So there you go. That's the inside. Now come down the garden. Let's go and have a look. So right, just a recap. Upstairs, three bedrooms, two with en suites. Downstairs, two bedroom suites. Well, a living room, the back room or the office, the kitchen living area and the TV room. And what I'll do is I'll take you out the front and back round the side. So let's go back round the front garden. Lovely plot. Obviously I showed you on the road earlier, but we are way hidden round the back. And then the owners have just been having a bit of roofing work done, hence the skips here. But obviously the property is only gonna be offered very quietly at this time of year. But if someone wants to move, the owners are open to suggestion. So. Fabulous terrace adjoining the house. This side, there used to be like a little old summer house out here. They put the, obviously the hot tub on that hard standing. And then as we came around the back, they were the back doors into the kitchen. Now come down the garden. So this garden, I think we have got the exact measurement on the plot, but I think it is just over an acre. See how high these hedges are? They're all beautiful big laurels. But again, if you want to take them down, take them down but it's protecting your little bit of England. This pool is all fairly new. That's all been put in in the last few years by the new owners here. And then the garden, whether you're a keen gardener or the kids want a football pitch or put a tennis court, 
There's not many people that can say they've got a full size football goal in their back garden. And the garden actually goes round behind the neighbour slightly. So it comes back to this tree line. What a fab plot. When I come down here, you get a pretty good impression of the house. Unfortunately, we're going to be looking into the sun, but it is a big house. However, if you really want to make this even bigger, you've got the room to go upwards. I mean, you could have five enormous bedroom suites on the first lot if you wanted. But I'm bringing you right down the garden here. Because if you're a dog walker or like to go for a run, then this is a little bit of a special touch. Because down the bottom here, we've got our own gate. He says, trying to work his way through it, out onto Pages Meadow. And for those who don't know, know Pages Meadow is actually owned by, I believe, Mid Sussex Council. Just fighting the Triffids, bear with me. Real David Bellamy moment there. But look at that. That's pretty good. And these fields all go back and adjoin Haywards Heath. And if you don't know Haywards Heath very well, if you can just about see through those trees, the houses over the back there are on the end of Bluntswood Road. All these fields are the fields that sort of adjoin the back of Cookfield and the trees on the, on the horizon there. That is Bluntswood. So it's all protected. Well, so I say it's a nature reserve. Bluntswood, Bluntswood is obviously ancient woodland. And you can walk all the way around the outside of Haywards Heath, round through to the Bald Hill Estate over the back. So rather fabulous. But there you go. That is Pinehurst on Tyler's Green. It is officially the last house in Haywards Heath, or the next door, the first house in Cookfield. You can walk to the schools, you can walk to the station. You've got a great deal of potential to extend the property and you're in total control of your plot. Hope you like what you see. Do give us a call if you'd like to have a look.